Allen bought, sold again, and then taken away from its most recent owner. It's a pretty bizarre story that we first reported last week. Certainly so. A 20-year-old North Brantford woman had no idea why police came to her home and took her car. News 8's got her back, got some fast results as well. Aaron Logan joins us now with the very latest live. Keith, Sonia, today that car was returned to Brittany Boyers. The city of New Haven's corporate counsel agreed she is the owner, and the dealer who sold her the car did everything legally, even contacting the lien holder who didn't respond. The mess stems from a clerical error in May 2011. It was taken away almost a month ago. Now 20-year-old Brittany Boyers is excited to remove this sticker and get back behind the wheel. I'm just like so excited. I couldn't believe it when he called me. That call was from New Haven Police this morning. Every day it was different. I kept getting different answers and I just figured it's going to take months and months till I get it back or I'm not even going to get it back. And I was just getting so frustrated and I couldn't deal with it anymore. So she turned to News 8. We did some digging and found out what went wrong after purchasing this car from RJ Automotive. The car was first reported stolen in late May of 2011. But the city of New Haven says an employee didn't accurately record it. Exactly one month later, the car turned up here at the Brantford Police Department. RJ Shores Automotive went back and checked their paperwork and the police had asked them to tow it. This police report confirms that. Brantford police got the car when they pulled it over because it had the wrong plates on it. The driver was arrested. Police say there were no signs of the car being stolen because of the clerical error in New Haven. RJ Shore was able to legally buy the car and sell it to Brittany this January. Six days later, the car was reported stolen. That's eight months after the fact. The original owner stopped by the New Haven police. Since being the new owner, Brittany was pulled over once in Wallingford, then had the car taken from her. She thought she was never getting it back. I went to the DMV, I returned my plates, canceled my insurance. I'm glad I called you guys and you were able to help me and everything. So, and RJ Shore, they did, had nothing to do with it and they're a good dealership and it wasn't their fault. Well, Brittany, Brittany immediately went to the DMV to get those plates and officially put this stressful time behind her. The city of New Haven thanked the police department for their thorough investigation and also R.J. Shore for their cooperation. Keith.